Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about some of the recent leaked images of the 187th Clone Troopers. Now this is a rumor that lends itself from the Republic fighter tank uh, that seemed to be dead for quite a while. There wasn't a whole lot of confirmation on it and now it seems to be coming back out of nowhere and there's a lot of skepticism about its authenticity. So before we discuss that today, just go ahead and like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. I greatly appreciate that. Let's go ahead and take a look. So if you have heard of the summer 2022 set list we have a lot of promising sets coming out for us and a lot of those do seem very legitimate now one set that's been interesting to me on sort of the back burner over the last couple of months has been the republic fighter tank now this rumor originally came out december of 2021 ish right in there january 2022 and there seemed to be some pretty skeptical approaches to the authenticity that we are getting a republic fighter tank in 2022 and on top of that that we'd be getting three 187th clone troopers along with mace windu now i honestly did not think it was happening the moment i heard it uh no one mentioned it it kind of just hung in the balance for a little bit nobody really seemed to have much confidence in it and i didn't either until just two days ago now we actually got set images of well i shouldn't say set images we had minifigure images released of the figures kind of blowing the whole thing open again. Now, as soon as I saw the images, I think it was actually on Republic Studs video, I got really excited. I saw them, they looked legit, and uh, I noticed just that the quality of image was rather high for what you typically see in a leak. And it became very clear very quickly that these figures were owned privately, and this wasn't exactly a leaked image from any sort of Lego catalog or anything like that. It was a person who actually had acquired these figures somehow. So while that seems skeptical at first, um, I actually tried looking at the box in the back, and it seems to me that it's uh, the Bespin dual set. Uh, it's not some sort of upcoming May or June, whatever, release of a summer 2022 set. It, it's an old set that this person previously owned. They are just posing his figures in front of it. On top of that concern for me, nobody really mentioned it. I, I mean, I trust for public studs. He's got some good connection. Uh, but none of the big name YouTubers actually made any videos on this. And it just kind of took me for surprise. I thought if it was legitimate, I'd at least hear something. So to me, honestly, I thought the images were most likely fake for a little while until I started seeing it pop up over the Internet as well. And the rage kind of drove me to consider its authenticity just a little bit more. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, the more I look into this, the more I think it's actually legitimate. So I want to discuss the reasons for that and uh, what basis I can make this claim off of. Now, disclaimer, I am not a prophet. I cannot tell you if this is happening, when it's happening, uh, but it seems legitimate at this point. But if I am wrong, uh, don't give me a hard time because this very well could be just one massive prank somebody is pulling, but they would have fooled a lot of people. So let's go ahead and discuss now, there were quite a few Instagram rather reliable leakers uh, giving sort of their own confirmation to this sort of thing. And I don't typically keep up with that sort of thing, but I just happened to stumble across 9 to 5 Toys today, which is uh, sort of a news, I guess you could say, website that publishes quite a bit on just the new maybe reviews and that sort of thing too. But just they always keep you up to date on the, the sort of rumors. And so far, they haven't really posted anything with certainty that's been false. Over the last couple of years, they've been very accurate, and typically whatever you see on there preached with confidence tends to end up happening. So this took me by surprise just to see that they stand completely confident this is happening. In fact, they show the image of the clones that you're probably seeing on screen right now, that this is indeed happening. And they even make the claim that other, other things we can confirm as of now on set 75342 is that the Republic tank will be arriving later this spring ahead of the full summer 2022 wave slated to release on May 1st. The kit will enter at a $39.99 price point right alongside the UCS land speeder. So that's an interesting bold claim. They seem very, very confident and uh, it definitely took me by surprise because nine to five is somebody who typically isn't wrong. In fact, I've never seen an instance where they have been. So the fact that they didn't just say, okay, well, here's a rumor that is up in debate. The fact that they said, okay, we can confirm this makes me think, well, there's a little bit of merit to the claim. 
Now, in my rather unprofessional image expertise, I decided to take a closer look at the figures themselves because we actually have some really, really clear images of these figures. So we have a total of three options for what these figures are. We have, they are genuine, and that's the side that I'm going to be picking, and I'll explain why. We have the fact that they could be fake, they could be decaled, or we have the fact that they could be faked but printed. Let's go ahead and discuss what I'm seeing here in the images. Now, as I have the image pulled up in front of me, um, I'm looking for a lot of uh, blurring lines. I'm looking for evidence that this isn't a decal figure. Um, now, I see on the helmet of this clone right here, you can see where the lines kind of blur. Um, if this was a decal fig, there would be a very sharp edge there. Now, same thing with the bottom of the torso. Um, and even the leg printing here, you can see some of those details definitely tend to just sort of uh, blend out into the white and bleed over a little bit. Clear indication that this is in fact a printed figure. On the side of the helmet here, if you zoom in, you can see that the, the girded pieces are actually a little bit uneven. And again, if that was a decaled piece, it should in theory be completely even and you wouldn't see these sort of uh, bleed marks on the tips of them either. So all indications point to that this is in fact very much a printed figure. Um, you even see a little scuff marks on the feet. Uh, I see no evidence, and again, I'm not a professional image analyst, but there are there is literally no evidence that I could even think of to suggest that this is decaled. This is definitely not decaled. The more I look at it, I, I stand completely confident that this is in fact not decaled. Now, the only other option is that it's somehow printed fake and printed uh, to give the appearance of being a genuine Lego figure. Um, for the fact stated that people stand confident it's not, who know a lot more than I do, kind of makes me err on the side that it's not, but also the detail present seems rather legitimate. Uh, for example, there's no blast camera or any of the uh, 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 shoulder pauldron present on the airborne trooper that you would expect to see. Custom figures tend to lend themselves a lot more towards heavy detail-oriented uh, printed parts, as well as actual cloth pieces, little additions and add-ons of that sort. You don't see any of that here. Um, it, it looks exactly how I would expect Lego to release this sort of figure. Now, that's not concrete evidence. Just the fact that it looks legit doesn't mean it is right. But the style of printing uh, seems very, very similar. If you were to take a picture of just a 501st clone with your phone um, and you were to compare it with these, I think you would see very similar results. So uh, whatever it is, if this is indeed a fake they would have had to nail Lego's strategy for printing so spot on. I would honestly be amazed and I would question uh, how they were able to get uh, such an accurate look on this. So just based on the current rumor set and the image analyst, rather non-professional as it may be, um, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is probably somewhat legitimate. So if you don't know the backstory, also led into its authenticity. This comes from a uh, Lego toy store out of Mexico, rather close to the factory that provides all of the North American sets. So it makes me wonder how these figures could have escaped the factory. But again, if it's the releasing in May, it, it's only a couple months early and, and figures escape all the time a couple months early. So the fact that the images are still hanging around seems a little suspicious. And the fact that nobody really seems to be commenting on it as a bigger name YouTuber, again, other than Republic Studs. Um, it just, it seems a little skeptical up front, but I, I think this is legitimate. Um, you'll expect to have confirmation within probably about a week on this sort of thing. Um, rumors don't tend to hang around, image rumors at least, don't tend to hang around for uh, longer than a week or two before somebody outright just proves that it's false. So the longer this rumor hangs around, the more legitimate it becomes. If there's no concrete evidence by the end of this week or early next week, I would tend to say that it's probably the legitimate. Um, looking at it right now, it's a, it's a couple days from release. I was I was skeptical to make this video because I didn't know if it was going to be legitimate. Um, it's it's building on the fact that it is. I, I stand fairly confident that this is indeed happening, um, and it's very exciting. It's it's not something I expected Lego to make. So very very good news. Uh, it definitely seems like it's going to be Clone Wars themed. Uh, just based on the fact that these clones did appear in Season 7 of Clone Wars on an Axis Prime, and Mace Windu being recycled from the gunship seems like something Lego would do anyway. So doesn't necessarily surprise me that they would 
that would, that would choose something like this, but to get three figures like this with uh, a rather rare Legion is surprising to me. So that's my take on it. Let me know what you think. I could be entirely wrong. Right now, I'm leaning on the side that it is real. Go ahead and let me know what evidence you have for either side in the comment section below. Thank you all for, thank you all for viewing. Stay tuned for more content like this one. And as always, guys, have a great day.